It may be crude, it may be rude, but it's definitely funny. <laughs> Hey guys, now kind of a random review here, but uh, had some time and I watched the movie The Comedian, which stars Robert De Niro, it was made last year. This is a movie that apparently Robert De Niro has been trying to make for over eight years. It had a lot of different directors, including Sean Penn, who were attached to it. Even Martin Scorsese was in the works of trying to get it as a director for it. But the thing that I, the mainly the reason I want to review this movie is because of how low its rating is on IMDb. It's got a 5.7 on IMDb, and in my opinion, it doesn't deserve that. Sure, the film is excessively long. Sure, the movie kind of just takes a pause for in terms of story when it comes to these comedic bits. But this movie, for one, is very funny. If anything, it's kind of just a in-between mix of different comedic moments, as well as Robert De Niro absolutely slaying on the mic in different situations, in different moments, with extremely grotesque, if not somewhat borderline humor. There's a scene where he goes to a gay Jewish wedding, and there's some jokes that you would never think you would ever hear at those weddings, and they're funny. Admittedly, he would, in real life, he'd probably be booed out, but they're actually really funny. The whole thing about the film is that his character, Jackie, is a old aging comedian who his heyday has come and gone. And he's basically been kind of trying to work out of the shadow of his fame from a TV show called Eddie's Home, which is like an old kind of like sitcom thing. And it's really an interesting idea because that can represent a lot of actors in current day, a lot of people who worked in sitcoms. But there's a lot of different actors who have con constantly been living in the shadow of their previous works and try to establish themselves as something different. And for instance, Eddie's home, he was kind of like the Angry Burke or the Al Bundy, less stupid, but what he's trying to do is work himself as a he's been trying to establish himself for years or decades as a great insult comedian and he is and there's some scenes that are absolutely great but what's also cool is just the humility and the fragility of the character where he meets Leslie Mann after doing during his community service and the relationship they have is actually kind of not one you would expect the movie itself is a lot of things you wouldn't expect. There's moments of his humility. There's moments of where he has to kind of, he should do the right thing, but he doesn't. The character himself of Jackie Burke is one of the coolest characters I've seen in a, lo in a long time. And like I said, it helps that this movie is super freaking funny. Admittedly, the ending is just a little bit kind of sudden, but otherwise I enjoyed it. I think it's a cool look at comedians. I think it's a cool look at their life, their revolving sort of intricacies. And also the cameos are great. There's a lot of actual current day comedians in this movie who appear and they have their own stand-up. Billy Crystal's in it too. Billy Crystal's actually quite funny in it. He's only got a really small part, but it's actually quite funny. Especially when you see the uh, background extra who's in the scene with them break face, like smile, during some of their jokes. It's really good. If anything, this is a movie that I would enjoy, but I can understand why people wouldn't enjoy it. Like I said, the humor is very crude. It does take a tangent a lot of times through the movies to just show comedians, as well as the runtime is excessive. But I enjoy it. I think it's funny. If people out there who like movies starring comedians kind of talking about the whole idea of what a comedian aspect is, you should definitely watch this movie. It's a very cool, intrusive look into the life of a comedian as well as someone just working out of their own shadow. So in the end, I'm going to give The Comedian a 5 out of 7. I would have given it a higher rating if it didn't have that excessive runtime as well as... The ending. I don't know. The ending still kind of mm, needs a little bit, but otherwise, I had a great time. I could rewatch this movie again and again because of how funny it is. And it's not stupid fart humor, it's just comedian humor, like stand up comedian humor. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll see you guys next time.